when you press this, the throttle, the boost gauge goes like this. And then if you come out here, this goes. So that's how that works. Dude, you left like half the tire on the bridge. I just don't understand why it says turbo diesel when it's a turbo's diesel, because it has two. That's kind of wrong. That's lying. That's not right. You're not right. You're a liar. Jeez. Hey, I heard you got new tires for your Geo. Is that true? They're not new, but kind of, I guess. We got these. We got th these two. Um, these are a little small, and then we got those two over there to see which ones we like better. Honestly, I think these are too small for what we, we want to do. They don't need to move. It's got to sit in the yard and look pretty, but man, will this thing look sweet ripping across the field at five mile an hour. So I did a thing. Yesterday, um, me and my girlfriend drove hour and a half, and went and bought a truck. It's a 2008 turbo diesel, it's blue, pretty clean interior. The seats go up. Ugh. Back here, it's got a fifth wheel ball. It does have aftermarket bumpers. There is some rust that just eliminates weight then, so it doesn't really matter. Got tow mirrors, obviously have them out because we're a triple D. So if you don't know what that means, you're a diesel driving. Pop the hood here so we can show you what's going on under here. Ugh. It's got a light on the hood so you can see. Um, it's a six seven. This is where it gets kind of fun. We got a turbo in here, and then down yonder we have the stock turbo. But today we're gonna wash it up here because it hasn't been washed. Soap it up, and then we're gonna we're gonna polish the whole thing. It's got all kinds of scratches in it, like this right here. So we're gonna wash it and polish it. See if we can get her shine up a little bit. See, there's a bunch of scratches like this in it. Eventually, probably pull all the seats out and uh, shampoo the carpets, and just get this truck. Looking good and get it ready for uh, spring work because it's got to go on a seed tender. So, yeah, let's get to it. Man, my tip is all dirty. You gotta clean it off. All right, fun fact if you take mother's cl chrome cleaner and you kind of got a blemish or something to it, like uh, here, um, as you can see, there's a bunch of like brake dust on here. Take a uh, steel wool and you wipe her down a little bit, then you spray that off. Stuff shines. Better shine up our logo. All buffed up. Look at that shine. Woo. Big test here. See if we can get this tailgate to shine up. This thing looks. This thing's seen better days. Tailgate looks way, 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 way better. You know, I never thought I'd own a diesel because uh, my dad's kind of against them, but uh, you know, here we are owning a diesel. About to see what it can do, see if uh, the farm likes it, and if so, maybe someday I'll own another one. But right now, I'm really liking this truck. It, I was, I first got it, long box, man. That mm, I'm more of a short box guy, although I do like regular cab long boxes, but four door with a long box, pretty long truck, but it's starting to grow on me. Maybe once we get better, better wheels on here with some chrome wheels, that, uh, that'll really throw her off, make her look good. Hey, if anyone's got any leather, leather seats for sale for a uh, 2008 Dodge Cummins uh, with a small back seat, maybe, uh, maybe we can figure something out. All right, got it all buffed and got it all waxed. Here she is, final product, nice and shiny. It's been a couple days, I've owned this truck, and you tell it's dirty, you live on gravel, it's been raining, so what do you do? It just gets dirty, and uh, it's just hard to keep things clean. But, um, when I bought this truck, I knew there's a couple things we need to do to it before it is perfectly um, safe to put a lot of miles on it, if you want to say. Um, and they both have to deal with kind of the motor um, I've been driving it. I've probably put 200 miles on it, but uh, I'll show you kind of the problems here. So this truck has an aftermarket turbo on it, plus the stock turbo, which is down yonder. I don't know if you can see in there. That's the other turbo. It's leaking. I don't remember what he called it. The joint, the T-joint um, is leaking. And so he was going to make me up a new one and see if we can get figured something out, something figured out there so we're not leaking oil everywhere because I don't know if it's doing it now, but not really, but you guys can see all the oil 
down the truck. It looks worse than really what it is when you go down the road, it just throws oil everywhere. So it looks really bad, but I mean. He said he put like 3,000 miles on it and it went halfway down on the uh, dipstick. So not that bad, but it does need to be assessed because no one likes oil dripping on their floors and it's just not good to have your track leaking because if you're going on the road and for happened for some reason you didn't check it and you run out of oil, blow up your motor and that would that would not be good. So yeah, but I have been thinking for this truck, I've uh, been doing some searching online and just kind of what I want to do to this thing. We have a little rust going on under the truck here on the cab corners and the doors. Got a little bit there. It's not, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's there. Um, we got a little rust going on the doors. Not too worried about rust at the moment. But the box has rust under here. I'd really like to put a flatbed on this. I've seen a lot of uh, some pictures with flatbeds and just be convenient for farm work and it looks pretty sweet. So I wanna take the box off, put a flatbed on and then do some different wheels. And I wanna do different headlights because these are a little like foggy, I don't know. We had one vehicle that was like that and I sanded them and I got them looking really nice and only lasted like a month. So it wasn't even worth my time to do that. And then uh, the girls cracked right here. It's not terrible though. I could probably leave it, um, get this cleaned up. And I don't know, I might replace that, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet. But then inside, nothing too fancy. I mean, we got cloth interior. We got a camo, steering wheel cover. We got our pillar gauges here. And then, you know, just stock interior. So I don't know, someday, maybe, maybe as we go along here, um, new radio, new speakers on the doors, the dash. Um, and then I don't know if they have kits. I know some trucks have kits where you can put uh, subs under the seat. I'm not sure if this truck will do that or not, but maybe subs in there, make it sound a little cooler. And then maybe, maybe someday leather interior. I know it's a work truck, but leather interior is so much nicer because when you're trying to clean it, it just cleans up so much easier than cloth because if you have oil on your on your pants or something, you sun cloth, it just embeds into the seat and you know, that's just not really what you want. But try to keep this truck nice as possible. I mean, it's a very nice truck. I mean, honestly, the interior is really clean. I mean, a little, little dirt here, but um, no cracks in the dash or torn seats or anything, so. It does have glass sliding window, which is pretty sweet. It's, uh, it's automatic. Here, I'll turn the key on. Whoosh, look at that, dang. So yeah, sliding window, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, maybe one other thing. Someone's got a hood with a hood scoop on it. Hey, might be interested. But yeah, here's the truck. Um, it's been a couple days since I said, so it's dirty and it's not all clean how it was. But I do need to wash it and get all this, this white stuff off because it's everywhere. And I haven't got to that and I really need to do that so it doesn't bed into the truck. But yeah, here's the truck, guys. Um, hope you guys like it. I know some of you are like, oh, Dodge. Dodge is terrible, but hey, I, we got, I got a Ford here. I got that Ford and I got a Dodge now. So we do have a dually. Uh, it is a gasser. But this is our main workhorse on the farm. And so that's why I bought this for my own good work truck. And I wanted a diesel for more pulling power. And you just get better fuel economy when you're pulling heavier stuff. And this thing gets terrible, 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 terrible fuel mileage. My brother's got a 2020 uh, Chevy 2500. And we pulled our 45 foot bean head home from a sale and we got like five miles to the gallon. So that's really why I wanted to get a diesel for pulling. I mean, we probably could have easily got probably 10 miles to the gallon better. I mean, not better, just 10 miles to the gallon. I know some of you are gonna say, well, you can get gas a lot cheaper than diesel, but I mean, yeah, you're right. So it kind of makes up for that, but it's just nice to have the power, power there because like our dually, it's a V10. I mean, it's got a decent amount of power, but this thing should have way, 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 way more power than a gasser. Oh, one thing I forgot to include in this truck, um, it's got airbags. So if you go back here, um, it's just on the back, but you go back here and you take these valve covers off and it's the same thing as a tire and you just 
pump air in it. You can put, I think he said he recommends 40 PSI or 50 PSI when you had a heavy load on. But like right now, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's nothing in them. Nothing in them. Um, he said he usually didn't write anything in the bags when he wasn't pulling a load. So that's what I'm probably going to do also. But yeah, once we start building this truck and get some stuff to it, done to it, it's going to look... It's gonna it's gonna look pretty sweet. So I hope hope you guys enjoy um, videos like this builds. I'm hoping the first thing I do to it is flatbed it. Who knows? I do need to get a leveling kit because the front end is pointed down just a little a little bit compared to the back. The back's high, so it looks way better if you do something like this to level it. So I'm probably gonna do that. But if you guys have any recommendations for a leveling kit, and if you have done it, um, put down something below, and I'll, I'll read that, because I usually read the comments and see what you guys say. And there's a lot of facts on there that are little things you wouldn't know. And like, hey, good idea. So I um, appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, stick around. We're gonna be working on this truck, doing some cool stuff to it. So, I mean, if you guys wanna see that, you better subscribe and uh, hit the like. What's the other buttons down there? comment don't dislike because that's not very nice i wouldn't do that to you but uh yeah here it is guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one